Rob Stark has had enough of having a six pack. Now, I think personally, this article is a little bit. Um, I think it might be one of those. Uh, how do you call them? I think it might be. Um, I think it might be one of those SJW things where he was maybe talking at an SJW panel and he wanted to kind of seem woke because it seems a bit weird, right? But I'll, I'll read. A, I'll read the whole thing to you. So this is a topic I saw on the BBC. Um, the actor from the actor that, that played Rob Stark is it? That's him, right? I'm pretty sure that's him. Um, Richard Maiden criticizes unrealistic um, weight demands, right? And this is off the back of I think um, Steve. What's his name? Um, I forgot his name. Oh. Anyway, it will have in the article. But let me read it to you and, t- and we can kind of discuss this. Um, Bodyguard star um, Richard May- Maiden has spoken out against the unrealistic demands he and his fellow actors face regarding their weight and body image, which is, you know, fairly their hero there. Um, the Bodyguard, I recommend you watch it. It's on the BBC, an amazing BBC series. Um, Richard, this guy is incredibly, he's really, really good in it. I recommend you check it out. Uh, BBC has a lot of really good dramas out at the moment. I think they've got this, they've got Finn Blue, uh, Line of Duty... Um, there's another one two hours watching. Um, I think it's missing. I forgot it was where the kid is missing or something. It's out recently now. But check it out. Uh, BBC iPlay. There's a lot of really good dramas on there at the moment, especially if you're in between waiting for Game of Thrones to start, which is start, I think, next week, right? Next week, Game of Thrones starts. So if you're in between waiting for Game of Thrones, I recommend you check this out. But article continues. I've done numerous jobs where you're told to lose weight and get to the gym, he told British Vogue. It doesn't just happen to women. It happens to men all the time as well. His comments follow... Uh, that's not really complaining about that, really, is it? He's just saying it's just annoying. Uh, Sam Smith's recent admission on Instagram that I have starved myself for weeks in advance of photo shoots. Smith's revelation was accompanied by a shirtless photo that was described as an effort to reclaim my body, which is, you know, insane, really. Let's see his reclaiming the body. Yeah. Come on, man. Reclaim... And again, I just... I knew it. Let's just read Sam Smith's caption here, right? Sam Smith, you know, the singer that everyone loves. He's usually... It's quite a funny dude, to be honest, but for the most part. Sam Smith. In the past, I have... Uh, in the past, if I ever done a photo shoot with so much as a t-shirt on, um, I have starved myself for weeks in advance. Yeah, but that's... You know, you want to look good for your photo shoot. That's not them's doing it, right? Um in advance and then picked and prodded and prodded at every picture and then normally taken the picture down yesterday i decided to fight the fuck i'd fight the fuck back reclaim my body and stop trying to change this chest and these hips and those curves that my mum gave me what um some take this as a narcissistic showing off but if you know how much courage it took to do this the body trauma i've experienced as a kid you wouldn't think those things thank you for helping me celebrate my body as it is ryan folger and i've never felt safer than i did with you i'll always be at war with his body mirror but this shoot and this day has stepped in the right fucking direction um i don't know i don't know what that's about really these hips and these things you're a man you don't really have hips like that do you no these curves what are you talking about um i don't know it's a bit strange that um i think maybe if you're sam smith and you made it as a celebrity when you were super young i don't know if he became a singer when you were super young and he was like a, you know a child prodigy and some shit he might have had avarice expectations thrust upon him that might you know make you a bit um uh, it might fuck up a bit right but i think in general for a celebrity um for a celebrity that is in the public eye and you know you are um in the you know yeah you're in the public eye um you want to maybe um present the best image of yourself i don't think it's that bad to have unrealistic demands of your body especially when you're um, showing yourself in public on stage right for the whatever it is to do i don't think you have to be like that all year round but if you're on tour if you're maybe doing a photo shoot, you might want to get into good physical condition. But then you could also be honest with your fans and your audience and say, hey, this is just what I do when I'm doing a show, right? Because I want to be fit. So if I'm on stage, I can run around. I'm standing on my feet. I'm doing a worldwide tour, whatever it may be. People understand it. If it's a shoot, they'll get that too because, you know, some of the clothes that you get given from brands are only in a particular size. It makes sense. But to somehow say that, you know, these unrealistic body demands are somehow um, evilness and they're really, you know... Um, they are playing around with your mental health i think in general it's mostly up to you it's how you view yourself right because there's people out there you, we've all seen them in it on road who really carry being overweight or being a little bit chunky well right they have really good confidence in their bodies and there's other people that you see out there who are very much in their shell right they're super self-conscious about every little thing on their body and again that's their own that's some of it has to do with um how we perceive them right sometimes if a big person comes on a train and you give them a weird look or if they sit down and you kind of squirm and shit that is going to maybe kind of reinforce how they feel how little how little they think of themselves but for the most part a lot of it has to do with yourself right you kind of have your own self-loathing in you right we're all kind of our own worst critics at work um, in our careers, um, 
with our hobbies even sometimes, right? How many times have you been been playing football with your friends sometimes during the weekend and you've missed a goal and you've, you know, been cursing yourself out, calling yourself all kinds of names under the sun? We're all our worst, we're all our worst critic, but sometimes, you know, um, uh, people out there can maybe exasperate that issue. But I don't think it's a bad thing for people in the entertainment industry to maybe operate on like a higher plane or to maybe uh, uh, try to achieve um, unrealistic body images or uh, body goals in order to kind of, you know, sell whatever they're selling. Because we all know it's a game. We all know it's a part of a selling thing. It's like when footballers are playing, right? And, and they suddenly retire and they get overweight. No one's really like, oh, you should be in the same shape. We know they shouldn't be in the same shape. They're not training five times a week in some of the best facilities in the world with sports nutritionists, um, only a text away um, with their meals structured. Like, we know that's not the case, right? If they're not, if as soon as they retire and they're living their everyday life, hanging around their wife and children, we know they're going to get bigger and it's not a big deal, isn't it? If anything, we kind of celebrate that. So I think once you're in that arena and you're doing it, it's not that necessarily that bad of not bad of a thing for people to people to maybe I don't know think of you as a hunky dude and want to see your top off and see you get a six pack. They don't expect you to look at that all the time though. I don't think anyone does for the most part. Or maybe I'm being naive for the most part. Let me see. Let's continue on with the Richard Maiden stuff. Um, uh, Maiden said that he uh, he and his actor friends had found themselves bemoaning the barely eating, working out twice a day, no carbing thing required for certain scenes. Um, you know, uh, he said he would find himself looking at each other, going, "We're just leading, we're just feeding this, um, we're just feeding the same uh, that we're get, we're just feeding this same that we are against." Maiden, whose other roles include Rob Stark. And the prince in Cinderella said he had sometimes had given restrictive re costumes that made breathing difficult. The Scottish actor will next be in the Rocket Man, a must a musical biopic was about Sir about Sir St. John starring Targon Eaton. Maiden is not the only one highlighting the pressures of modern lifestyle. Last month, Australian actor Chris Hemsworth, um, for soon to be reprising the full role in Avengers, admitted keeping in shape for the camera can start to become a drag, which I can assume it. The roles I've taken are shaped on physique. It just goes hand in hand with the parts I play. But occasionally I see paparazzi picking out of the bushes and I'm like, how's my rig look? And um, and then pass away. But occasionally I'll see paparazzi poking out bushes. I'm like, how's my rig look? And I'm at that point... I know I've stacked off Avengers in games. You could get 25th April. Again, I get it, right? I understand. It's annoying if you're if you're four, if you're Richard Maiden, but you're kind of you know you have that scene in in everything that you 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 play where you are kind of walking down the street and um yeah you kind of have that scene in in every role that you do where you're walking down and uh, someone asks you to take your top off. I understand how annoying that can that can seem. I get it. I get how annoying that can be with those guys, but I think you know they only, they kind of have their self to blame because they've kind of tight cast themselves in those sort of roles. I think um, you know if if you sell yourself as a body dude and people keep it, giving you body roles and they want you to have that scene where you're walking out of the shower with your top off, you know you can't really complain. And I understand it can be a drag, but I guess for both of those actors, it might be an evolution in their acting career. The next step might be, you know, them pulling away from being the body dude and actually having roles that doesn't necessarily lend to them just having a ripped six pack or looking the way they do. And hopefully that happens um, sooner rather than later. Because even at Richard Ma the is it Richard Maiden? Is that his name? Um, yeah, Richard Maiden dude from Rob Stark from Game of Thrones. He's a lot bigger in Bodyguard than he was in um, in Game of Thrones. Now, Game of Thrones might have been because he was a little bit younger. That was filmed ages ago because he died a long time ago in Game of Thrones. Right, it was a Red Wedding. Back in the day that he died um, a lot. Of, I don't know how when that was filmed filmed because it screamed um, a bit later than that. Um, he might, but he he did look like he put on maybe ten pounds of pure muscle, maybe even twenty. So he looks really really big in um in um in Bodyguard, which again is could be annoying. But I think in general. The demands the industry put on people, how only the demands that you kind of, you know, are willing to do too. And it might just be an evolution where you might have to like, you know, not work as often in order to kind of get the roles that you want that don't require you to, you know, starve yourself. But this whole reclaim on the body thing for dudes, I'm just not too sure if I buy it, man. I'm not too sure if I'm into it. I'm not sure if that's the thing that dudes should be doing. Maybe for women who are who are all about their image, right, and what they look like and how they're perceived. I think women care a lot more about what they look like, you know. Hence why women have makeup and men don't, for the most part. I think there is a real, 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 real um, need for women to 
look a certain way, right? Whether it's um, something that they give, whether it's a pressure they put on themselves, whether it's an industry, there is this unrealistic expectation put on women for the most part. And I think um, some of those girls out, especially the plus size models who are sort of like trying to reclaim their body and trying to say, you know, I'm perfect the way I am. They're not saying they're healthy. I'm not, hopefully they're not saying that. Hopefully they're not saying that it's okay to be morbidly obese, but they're content with how they are, right? They're not trying to starve themselves, not trying to go on another diet to lose weight. They don't care. They just want to be the way they are and try and get other women to do the same. I think that's cool. But I don't think dudes should do the same thing because I just don't think we're wired that way, right? We're quite tiki. We're quite list oriented. We like to have goals. We like to have a plan in place to get to where we want to get to. And the moment we start just, you know, resting on our laurels and taking our fourth, we're like, ah, you know what? I'm all right the way I am. I don't used to do much, nothing more. I don't know if that's going to be any good for us in the long term. I don't think dudes really want that or need that going forward. Again, only in my opinion. I don't think necessarily think that's a great right way to go about things. But I can I can I can understand, especially after seeing Joaquin Phoenix and the Joker that that um, trailer that he was on. You saw how um, skinny and how gaunt he looks in that role that he's doing. I get if you're like, um, if you're one of these Richard Maiden dudes and you're being required to do a, a role like that. Imagine you're on Game of Thrones, you, you, you're one way shaped. Then you're on, um, you're on Game of Thrones and you're that big, right? That, no, you're that skinny. Then you go do the bodyguard and you're that big. Then they ask you to do the Joker movie and you, you lose that much weight. I get it. But because I remember seeing, um, is it Christopher Nolan? Is it Christopher Nolan? Uh, Batman? Is that Christopher Nolan? Whatever his name is, the guy that played Batman in Batman Returns, or my favorite one, he used to something along the lines of like the losing weight thing. I think the one that played the uh, Vice, right? Um, he played uh, Dick Cheney. He was saying that for him, most of the reason he doesn't do it because you know it's like a method acting, which I which I thought it was. He said the reason why he does it because he wants to commit entirely to the role, and the moment he starts to lose weight or starts to put on weight it switches something in his brain. He becomes a different person. It's not him anymore, right? He is whoever that person is in the role. It's just another switch for him to kind of get into kind of game or kind of flow state, which I think was quite interesting. Um, but again, I don't think it's something that everyone could possibly do. And then maybe in general as well, it's not maybe the safest thing for most people to do. Um, um, and who knows, maybe there will be a bit of a change in it. But again, it's good to see the kind of balance happening. You know, it happens on both ends, man. Men and women are both getting unrealistic pressures from Hollywood. And hopefully Hollywood kind of sees that and makes some amends. Probably won't because, you know, there's more, I think there's probably a, a whole bevy of people behind him who are willing to take that opportunity. For